All right. Hello, everybody. You know, there are days like this when being mayor is absolutely amazing. This is exactly why myself and our assemblyman, Phil Ting, this is why we do this work, to make a difference in the lives of people who need us to make sure that we make the right investments. Thank you all for being here. I'm glad to be here to announce the grand opening of the Division Circle Navigation Center. This Navigation Center will help so many people transition off the streets into this place, into permanent housing. The opening today is a result of a collaborative effort between the city, the state partners, like our assembly member Phil Ting and Caltrans. We are working together to help address this homeless crisis. Many of you know my top priority as mayor is to make sure that we're moving our homeless population out of tents, off the streets, and into permanent housing. Navigation centers like Division Circle go beyond the traditional shelters by allowing individuals to bring their partners, their pets, their belongings with them, which are often barriers to getting into our shelters. Once they are there, the centers provide the care and services that people need, health care, services around uh, social workers, and possibly, hopefully, permanent housing. This particular navigation center will serve up to 125 individuals at a time. The opening today is the result, as I said, of a collaborative effort and there are a number of different people who made this possible. And it's a reflection of what we can accomplish when we work together for a common goal. Assembly member Phil Ting helped to secure $10 million last year in the state budget to help with two navigation centers in San Francisco. His, and that's not all he did. His legislation, AB 857, allows the city to lease underutilized property that's owned by Caltrans at a very reduced rate. We wouldn't be able to make this happen without his leadership, and we are so grateful for what he has done to lead the charge in Sacramento. Caltrans worked with, in concert with our local and state representatives to overcome the hurdles involved in leasing the land. And I want to thank Laura Berman from the, Cal, the Caltrans director who's here today. I also want to thank Mohammed Nuru with the Department of Public Works who helped move this project forward quickly. Jeff Kaczynski from the Department of Homelessness and the city's real estate divisions countless other folks who made it possible, and especially our homeless outreach team who consistently are out there on the front lines trying to identify folks who are in need and bring them into our navigation centers to get them the help and the support that we know they need. I'm committed to addressing this humanitarian crisis that we see in San Francisco and all over our state. It's going to take a consistent, sustained effort to open navigation centers like this one all over our city. Together, we know we can bring noticeable changes. I have met some of the people personally who have been in our navigation centers who are now permanently housed. But I've also met people who have been in our navigation centers and who have come back time and time again. What I appreciate about the work of so many of the city employees and the nonprofit agencies that work to help folks who are struggling on our streets is that we have not given up on folks. And we won't give up on the people that we know need so support and services the most. That's why navigation centers like this are critical. They change and they save lives, and that's what we're committed to doing, one person at a time. And with that, I'd like to introduce our leader in this effort, Assembly Member Phil Ting. Thank you so much, Mayor Breed, for your leadership on this issue of homelessness. I know that 
we had an opportunity to work together when you were president of the board, and I have no doubt that you're going to be working on this issue every single day as mayor. I also wanted to thank Supervisor Hillary Ronan, who uh, had approached me early on in talking about how we could really fund navigation centers in her district, but also in San Francisco. And I'd be remiss not to thank uh, late Mayor Ed Lee, whose team really brought me AB 857. And it was really uh, this team effort where the city had this idea of we need to work together to solve this problem. This is a statewide problem. We have 134,000 homeless people in the state. It is a state of crisis. We have 7,500 people here in San Francisco. But these people aren't numbers, they're lives. They're lives that missed different paths, uh, have taken very challenging directions, but we as a city have not given up on them. We as a state have not given up on them, and only by working together and solving this problem together can we really move this issue forward. Caltrans has been great because Caltrans told me they spent, I believe, almost $10 million last year or the year before to just move homeless people off their property. Homeless encampments up and down the state were under freeways everywhere. I mean, I drove, I would drive under the 101 Cesar Chavez interchange to drop off my daughter at school every day, and you would see in a line of tents. And so Caltrans said, hey, instead of us using all this money to move people off, why don't we figure another way to be part of the solution? It doesn't help when you move people off the lot and then they just come back three days later and we have to move them off and back. It doesn't get them any closer to housing. So by Caltrans, myself and the legislature appropriating $10 million for two navigation centers, working together with Mayor Breed, with Mayor Lee, with Supervisor Ronan and the city family to really solve this issue, we have moved one step closer. And other people are taking notice because navigation centers aren't just happening here in San Francisco, they're happening in Santa Rosa, they're happening in Seattle, they're happening in Austin, because again, it's not about housing, it's about people. It's about making sure that people are getting help with their addictions, with their mental health, with helping with their job training. It's all about how we are assisting each individual, each one of those 7,500 people has families. They come from somewhere. They are going somewhere, and this city and this state is not going to let them fail. So with that, again, I just want to thank Mayor Breed for her leadership on this issue. So excited to see this uh, navigation center up and running. I uh, want to thank, again, Supervisor Ronan, late Mayor Ed Lee, and it's my pleasure to bring up the new director of Caltrans, Larry Berman, because their agency played a critical role in making sure that this happened. Uh, by working with me on AB 857, Caltrans has worked a deal out with the city and county of San Francisco to lease up to 10 properties at far below market rate, this being one of them. And they, again, have stepped up to the plate, not being part of the problem, being part of the solution. So thank you, Lori, and thank you to Caltrans. Thank you. Good morning. I want to start by saying congratulations to our new mayor of San Francisco, Mayor London Breed. Yeah. I, am, I am really honored for this opportunity to speak on behalf of the California Department of Transportation to express our appreciation for the collaboration with the city of San Francisco, with homeless advocates, with private donors and community members to address one of the greatest crises of our day, and that is homelessness. Caltrans and the City of San Francisco share a commitment to public service that predates, I think, all of us here today, but it's good when we can continue to work together to solve big problems. We are really proud to work with the City of San Francisco for today's ribbon cutting of the Division Circle Navigation Center, which is also dedicated to the memory of homeless advocate Brian Quinn, who passed away in April. We are proud of our commitment to develop sustainable transportation solutions in San Francisco and we appreciate our great partnership with the City of San Francisco to sustain vibrant communities. In the next few years, Caltrans has many repaving jobs that will be delivered through dedicated transportation funds from Senate Bill 1, the Road Repair and Accountability Act of 2017, and this year, Senate Bill 1 is paying for projects that will revamp several bridges and overcrossings along Highway 101 
including new wider six inch striping to increase visibility and safety. The Department of Transportation is planning for the growth of California's population, economy, and emerging technologies that will be used on the state highway system to transport people, goods, and services. We are also working with our local partners throughout California to help address an issue facing many Californians, and that is homelessness. This project, the San Francisco Navigation Center, along with the site at 5th and Bryant, represents a step in the right direction. The Van Ness Net the Van Ness Navigation Center adjacent to 101 is an innovative approach that makes use of Caltrans properties near downtown to help address the homelessness crisis. This project required commitment from local and state governments, private donors, grassroots organizations, and countless volunteers. We must all think outside the box to address California's homeless epidemic. And that's exactly what this project has delivered, a fresh approach. We are committed to helping in every way that we can, and we are proud of what we have achieved with today's project. And I want to particularly thank the innovative thinkers in the city of San Francisco and Caltrans who work together to address the challenges of delivering this project on state right-of-way. And I also want to really thank Caltrans staff who worked very hard on this project. This is not what Caltrans normally does with our right-of-way. But I want to especially thank Jim Bazianalis, our senior right-of-way agent, who is our point person on this project. I also want to thank the staff at San Francisco Department of Housing and Public Works and San Francisco's Department of Homelessness and Supportive Housing. I look forward to our continued partnership with the City of San Francisco to provide a safe and sustainable transportation system that enhances e California's economy while also working with communities throughout our state to make every California city a better place to live. Working together, we can solve big problems. Thank you. Good morning. My name is Shari Wooldridge. I am the Executive Director of St. Vincent de Paul. We have been a long-standing nonprofit in the city and county of San Francisco since 1860. Our mission is to offer hope and service on a direct person-to-person -person basis, working to break the cycles of homelessness and domestic violence. We want to thank all our partners today for this beautiful navigation center and what we are able to accomplish with 125 client sets that are with us. At this time, I want to introduce um, Representative uh, Ronan's um, representative from her office, Carolina Morales, who's considered a bridge builder and a political organizer advancing um, democracy. She has over a decade of experience in community health services and community organi organizing initiatives. She has built and managed programs, wrote and managed grants, and restructured an organization. She's been our key person from Senate, um, Supervisor Ronan's office. So sweet. Hi, everybody. Good morning. I'm Carolina Morales, legislative aide with Supervisor Hillary Ronan. So six years ago, when the District 9 office began our work, to build the first ever navigation center in San Francisco, we immediately recognized the, this division circle site as a perfect place for another navigation center. Last year, when the supervisor took office and our tent encampment crisis was at its worst, with about 250 tents concentrated in the mission as ground zero for our crisis, we knew that we had to do a lot more. We started work with the neighbors to ensure that we could open a navigation center at 1515 South and Ness. We worked with Ed Lee very closely and with Jeff Kosicki and Mohammed Nuru to ensure that all of the partners were really working together. And in that partnership, another very important department was the San Francisco Police Department. Our chief, Chief Scott, our commander Lazar, and now our captain Gaetano Caltagironi have been important partners in ensuring that both our homeless residents and our house residents feel safe as we share space together and ensure that everybody gets dignified housing. So I want to repeat the words that Mayor Breed and Assemblymember Ting have repeated this has been unprecedented collaboration that has been very, very effective. We thank Assemblymember Tang for partnering with us in granting us this massive amount of money to ensure that we are serving our most vulnerable people in the mission in ground zero 
for the tent encampment crisis. And with that, I want to once again honor the memory of Ed Lee and his commitment to building more navigation centers both in the mission and in our city. This is our way forward. This is the way that we will solve the tent encampment crisis that we have in San Francisco and maybe even California. Thank you for your time. So we have had many successful stories from those who have visited with us at the Navigation Center. So I'd like to introduce you to Anna. She has been a long time member, uh, resident of San Francisco, and due to her life experiences, she recently became homeless, and we just worked with her, and she is now housed. Good morning, everyone, and thank you all for coming out here. I want to thank the Navigation Center. I want to thank uh, Mayor uh, Ed Lee and now our present mayor. Thanks to staff and um, St. Vincent DePaul. I, um, I'm an ex-postal employee and uh, I never thought I'd become homeless. Um, it's sad, but um, thanks to the Navigation Center, I'm now housed and um, I'm uh, living on 6th Street at the Middle East. I'm very happy there. It's a very nice building. I was there 35 years ago, and um, so I feel that I've made a complete circle. I'm back, and it's, it's, it's a good feeling because I know that I'm where I'm supposed to be. That's the feeling I have. But uh, Thank you all. So now we're going to cut the ribbon, and then afterwards, if anyone is interested in a tour, then um, let me know, and we will do a nice, quick little tour through the Navigation Center. Here we go. All right. Five, four, three, two, one.